Instagram story highlights are a wonderful way for you to build credibility with new followers or new people even to your feed before they even become followers really quickly. And a lot of people stress about what their Instagram highlight covers should look like. I'm going to go through what these all are and how to design your very own Instagram highlight covers right inside Canva. And trust me, it's so easy. Plus, if you hang around to the end, I'll show you how to upload those to your Instagram so you know how to manage the whole process from start to finish. So let's dive in. So hi, if we have not met before, my name is Jackie and I am obsessed with helping you as a business owner, as a small business owner who is working on your own business's graphics, learn how to do that really well and really strategically right inside Canva. Because I believe that design isn't just about looking pretty, it's about strategically connecting and converting your audience so that they become random people in the world and become your buyers just because of powerful graphic design. And design really is that powerful. And so Instagram highlights are a wonderful way for you to get random people out in the world into your Instagram and then convert them. So Instagram highlights are those little circles you see in this example it says biz tips mastermind and client results and these little circles show your audience if they come to your page for the very first time they give you some context so if I was to click on one of these you can see that it's going to then reshare some of this person this is Hazel her Instagram stories and you can pretty much add in the Instagram stories into this highlight area for people to go click on them learn about your business learn about you and learn about your results just at a couple of clicks because the problem with Instagram is the Instagram stories are only available for 24 hours as default but if you want them to be available for longer you've just shared some really great content, some testimonials, a little bit of introduction about you, how awesome you are, something that's really great you want people to keep on referencing, then you can add them to what's called your Instagram highlights. Now, Instagram has mentioned they're going to be taking these away at some point, but they said that a long time ago and it still hasn't happened. So I'm making this video. So I'll show you how to actually add Instagram stories to your highlights and how to add your highlight cover there at the end. But first, let's have a look at some other examples of Instagram highlights so that you can see, I guess, what you want to do for yours, because there is a lot of different ways to do it. So as we've got this example that I just shared with you, we've got this one here, which has icons. Icons are a really great way and probably my number one recommendation for highlight covers because you'll see underneath the highlight, you can also name the highlight. So this says biz tips, mastermind and client results. So there's not really any reason specifically to put words inside your highlight cover. Now you don't have to have a highlight cover. Instagram will just pick one of the stories you've uploaded in there as a cover by default. But I think covers, especially as a business, look really professional and enticing. So that's one option. Another option is on this social runaway. She's done emojis as her highlight cover, which as you can see, if you look at her brand is very much on brand. So that's why she's done those for her. Another option is to do just a little icon that's maybe relevant to your brand. If you have a really beautiful brand icon, you could just repeat that over and over again and you'll see this person has done a combination of different colors from a color palette. Now one thing to note is if you want to do different colors that's really great. Highly recommend because it makes it look interesting but you can't have these in a specific order because what happens is Instagram will reorder your highlights depending on what highlight has the most recent story in it. So if I had a testimonials highlight and I hadn't updated it for a few weeks but then I suddenly added a new story to it that highlight is going to jump itself from maybe over here right to the front and so you can't have a particular order with your highlights and the colors which I think is totally fine but just so you don't get in your head about about, I should have this like rainbow color order. It's going to shift every time you add a new story to your highlight. Another option is to add words. So this person here has client work, VIP day, pretty much the exact same words as she's got underneath. She has in the text of her actual highlight. This seems like a little bit of overkill, especially because it's trickier to read. But sometimes if your branding is more text-based, you might choose to do that instead. Now, something that this person has done that I hadn't seen done before is really emphasizing the start here highlight. Sometimes we'll make a start here highlight that really just introduces people to the business, especially if you're new to it. And so if I was to come to this page for the first time, I would click on this start here highlight and it's going to just show me a little bit of an overview of this lady's business. It lets me know what she's about. And if I tap through these, it just gives me a little bit more about her as a business. And so feel free to have a start here highlight. And if you want to make the highlight cover of that one look a whole lot different to the highlight covers of your other ones to make sure it jumps out even more to people. All right. So now how do we make these? Firstly, I want you to open up Canva and click create a new design. Now the size design you're going to want to do here is one option is to just search highlights and you can see Instagram story highlight cover right there for you. This size is nothing fancy. It's just 1080 pixels by 1920 high, which is the standard kind of screen size. It would be the same size size of you creating a reel or an Instagram store or anything in this ratio. But Instagram story highlight cover is a great one to click because it means that Canva is going to suggest to you different templates that match. So if you want to use a Canva template, if you make sure you click on this one, it will open up templates for you if you don't want to start from scratch. Now, obviously for these, as you'll see in all the examples that I showed you, these highlight covers, we want to make them on brand. If you don't have a brand, 
make a brand if you need some support. I've got tons of different resources that can help you there. But in essence, making sure like so for Hazel here, her brand is kind of like the, the, the ready kind of pinks and oranges. And so she's got that in her highlight covers. Same for this brand here. It's all in her brand colors and her brand vibe. Same for this one same for this one. And so making sure you know your brand so you can make decisions based off that. So you're not just thinking, oh, what am I going to do today? No, you're basing these cover designs on your actual brand. So if I head to the design tab inside my Instagram story highlights, open design, then you can see a whole lot of Instagram story highlights are being displayed to me. And you're welcome to just use these off the get-go. I could look at this and think this one's really cute. I could then click on it and you can see a ton of different options. So if I was to insert this press, it's going to insert this design right into my design here. And I can then move these around, change the colors of it and do whatever I like. But it's important to note, I wanted to show you a bit of the anatomy of how this works so you understand exactly what's happening. So your highlight covers, as you can see in this version here, isn't some little square picture that gets uploaded. It's actually a tall story size that gets cropped into the middle area. So when you're inside your Canva design, I want you just to be thinking, I'm just going to insert a square here to show you. Your Instagram story highlight is going to picking up pretty much a circle or a square from inside the big design that you're doing. So if, if like it's going to crop it kind of here. So even if I was to change this to a circle right here, that's what's going to get picked up as your Instagram story highlight cover. So if I was just to grab this and overlay it on this one here, just so that you can see what it get, would get picked up, this is what would get picked up where this purple circle is. So it's going to have a circle inside a circle inside a circle, and that's going to be the cover. And so you don't actually have to insert a circle into, into your design at all. In fact, I prefer not to, just like Hazel's is here. There's no circle around here, but her highlight cover just picks up that circle. So just remembering that it's going to just sneak out a circle from your full design. So you don't need to make this in anything convoluted or very interesting, just a circle. Um, just making sure that it looks good when it steals a circle. So I'm going to insert a new page here. I'm going to click on the background here, select the background color, and it's going to open up the color section. I'm going to steal one of my brand colors, insert that as purple. And here is when I then insert my icon. So I recommend doing an icon. If you want to do text, you just follow the same thing, except you'd insert text instead of an icon. I'm going to head over to elements here, and I prefer to do really strong icons. So think about what am I trying to represent in this highlight? Is it testimonials? Is it an about me? Is it like, what is it? And can you think of like a little idea around it? So for Hazel here, she did mastermind client results and biz tips. You can see how those icons kind of reference those. Um, for this lady here, you can see results. It's got a little fire emoji free has got a little gift box. And so those kind of relate. So think through what Instagram highlight am I doing and what am I making the cover for and have a look there. And if you're feeling like you need inspiration and what your highlights could even be, do some research, follow, look at other people that you respect on Instagram, look at other people in your niche and see what they're doing. This person here has free Instagram tips, my story results, a couple of different results ones um, and something about one of her programs as well. And so thinking through what could I share about mine, having something to do with any of your programs or offers is really great because you can put information about that. Having something to do with client testimonials is really great. You can just upload anything that you've had a client say really positively about you and about me or a start here is really helpful. And then anything on top of that, that's to do with things you're regularly sharing on Instagram stories that you feel like people would be interested in revisiting. That's what you would add to your Instagram highlights. So say, for example, I was going to do a testimonial one. I'm going to search over in my elements tab over here, testimonial, and then icon. And I'm going to hit see all under the graphics tab here. And you can see there's a lot of little icons to do with testimonials. Now, a really big point to make here is that you want an icon that's really clear, not super convoluted. Like I would not use, say, for example, um, um, this one here, because it's just a little, like, it's it's all right. If your brand style was this, I'd actually probably be okay with this. But something that's not too detailed, you see it's got recommended here, that might be a little bit too small to read on Instagram stories. This one here is really convoluted. You wouldn't do something like this. You do something a much more simpler. So having just a really clean icon could work wonders for you. So for example, let's do this one here. I'm going to insert that into my design. Now remembering this is going to, Instagram stories is going to take a circle out of this and something to remember too. So I'm going to insert just a circle into my design. Just bring it to the full width, move it down. So it's centered along the design. You can see that pink line that's telling me this is centered. And if I just add this behind, you can see that this is now what my Instagram story highlight would look like. Now you don't want to do this. Okay. That's going to look way too crowded and amateur. You want to leave breathing room and margin. That's what a professional designer would do. So I'm going to bring this into the center like so, and that's got enough margin and border. I wouldn't do any larger than this. You could do a little bit smaller, but I definitely wouldn't do larger. Now a tip for you here is to add in some rulers. So if I go to file settings and show rulers and guides, I can drag down a ruler from the top here and drag down a ruler to the bottom of the circle and just sit this rulers on the top and bottom of the circle. And I can delete my circle and then I can always see a rough guide of how big my Instagram highlights need to be. Um, the benefit of these rulers is that they're not visible on your final design. They're just there for your reference. And if you ever need to remove them, you just click and drag it back away off the design. So I've got this one here. And ideally for what we do now is have icons that look the same. I wouldn't then create an icon that was like about me. So say if I write about me icon. I wouldn't then choose an icon like this one, which feels really different in its styling to this one here. I would choose one that looks the same as this one with its clean lines 
so that it kind of matches in its style. So I would delete this one and I would find something that feels quite similar. Now, if you were, like, if you're a cat lover, you might even choose to do a cat icon instead of a personal icon. Um, you might even have someone waving. Even, let's do this wave icon. Think a little bit conceptually around this. This one here, this has a very similar icon style to that one. Can you see how they're very similar? And again, I would make it just as big. Now, if you want to, you could even add in a second ruler here. I could add in a ruler maybe here and here to remind myself of how big this icon is on different pages. So if I grab that, then that way when I come into this one, I can think, you know what, I'm going to make this icon a similar kind of size. And now they're going to be really uniform in the way that they look. And what I might do here is on my second highlight, maybe make this a different background color. You could leave them all the same, or you could rotate through different brand colors to help them be to feel kind of different and unique as they kind of go along and less mundane. But it really depends on what your brand style is. And so you would just go through and, re and make these as many pages as you want to for as many highlights as you have. And like I found at the start, if you do want to do something that's already existent, you can just go to the design tab and you can see a lot of different options here for you. There's ones with text, there's ones with photos, there's ones with icons. So if you're a travel social media person or a gym social media person, you could click on this one and you could insert those pages into your design and you would have a really great option for yourself here. And you can even click and edit at these to be in your own brand colors. So say if I change this to my brand colors, change the icon. And now that looks much more on brand for my brand. And so just making sure you go through and do that and just making sure you have the same overall style across all of your different highlight covers. Now, this one looks really quite simple and plain, but when it actually comes to uploading it into Instagram, it's quite nice to have it simple and plain. So don't feel like if you're feeling overwhelmed by this idea, you have to make it super complicated. That's totally okay to leave it simple. I'm personally going to change mine to being white because that's more of my brand style. And then we are good to go. So once you're happy, you can then go to share, press download and select the file type from being MP4 to being PNG. Then you would select which pages you want to download. I'm just going to download one page today. I'm going to unselect all and then select my page here, or I could select multiple pages if I wanted to. Then press download. Now you wanna get this downloaded image to your phone. To do this, you might email it to yourself, you might airdrop it to yourself if you have a Mac and an iPhone, you might Dropbox it to yourself, you might even send it as an Instagram message to yourself, or you can even open up the Canva app on your phone and, and download it via your via the app, Canva app rather than anywhere else. I'm personally going to airdrop it. So now you want to add your highlight cover to your Instagram highlights. Now I'm on my Instagram page right now and you can see I don't have any highlights. I have been really slack with this, so do what I say, not what I do. But to show you how to even start from scratch, it makes this really helpful. So if you don't have any highlights yet, you want to go to the three um, menu bar, the hamburger menu at the top right hand corner with the three lines. Click on that. And then go to archive. This archive is your stories or anything you've done archive. So you can see my stories are here. I could switch across and I could see my archive, archived highlights or I can just scroll through dates and see the stories I've posted on different dates. So I just found some stories that I posted a few weeks ago around my course and some testimonials on that. And so if I want to make a testimonials highlight, I can open up this story and then you can see this little um, purple, not purple, this little heart down the bottom of it, the little heart that says highlight. If I click on that, it's going to say create a highlight. If I had highlights that already existed, it would bring up the option to add to a highlight. I'm going to type in here um, client love or student love because these are actually my students. And you can see here the highlight cover it's given is just that picture of me that's in the actual story. I'm going to hit press, press add now. And you can either choose to view on profile or hit done. I'm going to press done because I'm going to add a few more to that. So I'm going to press done, tap across to another highlight. I'm going to press highlight and press student love add. I'm going to do that one more time. Oh no, I don't have any more here. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my profile and you can see there's now a student love highlight there. Lovely. But the highlight that, that the cover for it right now is just one of the stories that was inside my highlight. doesn't look like anything fancy. So to edit that, you can do it two ways. One way should work for you, but if it doesn't, I'm going to show you a workaround if that's not working for you, which had happened to a friend of mine the other day. So if I hit on student love here, you can see at this option down the bottom that says more. If I hit on more, I can press edit highlight. If I press edit highlight, you can see that little button that says edit cover. So if I hit edit cover. I can then choose to either select a cover from my highlights that already exists, or I can press the, um, the little icon that says picture. So if I hit picture, it's going to bring up my camera roll. And because I've just sent that highlight picture we made in Canva to my camera roll, that option is now available for me. And then I'm going to press done. And you can see my highlight cover is now this beautiful little thing. Now you can resize this as needed. Um, if you feel like you made it a little bit too small, you could make it a little bit larger here. But I think if you designed and followed my tutorial, then it'll be a perfect size already. Then I'm going to press done. Done again. And it's going to save. 
You can see now if I go to my Instagram page, you can see student love is already sitting there, which is perfect. In fact, I might even keep this one here because it's looking pretty good. Now, if that option doesn't work for you in terms of editing the cover and uploading something from your camera roll there, what you're going to have to do is upload that picture we made in Canva to your Instagram stories. So you can add that to your highlights and then select from your highlights. It's all right. I'm just going to do it and show you. So say, for example, I'm going to go to my Instagram stories. Swipe across from my homepage, this photo, and I'm going to add it to my stories. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to press your stories down the bottom here. And now that's in my stories. I'm then going to go to my stories and then I'm going to press to highlight this. So I could press either highlight here or I could press more here and I'm going to press highlight. I'm going to add it to my student love highlight. I'm not sure why it's there twice. That's a bit of a glitch. Then I'm going to go to my highlight over here and you'll see that it's actually part of my highlights. It's part of the stories that I've shared there, which means that if I press more, edit highlight, I can then press edit cover and instead of choosing for my camera roll like I did earlier, I can just scroll across and select the story I've added to my highlights instead. So I can hit done, done. And now that is another option to have that work if that upload from your camera roll does not work for you. And so that, my friends, is how you can add your Instagram highlights. And if you are thinking, I need some help with this or I want to bounce this idea off someone or I don't even have a brand to base my brand on, I would love to invite you to one of two things. If you're looking for a free thing, I have a masterclass called Design Tools for 100K. In that masterclass, I'm going to go through key design mistakes you might be making. I'm, I'm going to go through some really great Canva hacks for you. And I'm going to live design a graphic with you so that you can learn how a designer's brain thinks. It's going to help you start to feel confident about using Canva for your business so that doing things like this becomes so much more easeful. And the other option is my DIY course. I have a DIY course that is made just for small business owners, teaching them not only how to use Canva, but also how to build a brand. So if you don't have a brand or you're struggling on how to actually use your brand and apply it to your designs, make sure you jump inside that course. It's made especially for people like you, and I would love to have you inside. The details for both of those things are going to be below. In the meantime, have fun creating your highlight covers. Don't overcomplicate them, make them nice and simple. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials from me and hit like if you like this video so I know to create more of them. All right, I'll see you next week for another tutorial. Bye.